Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. The agenda of this tutorial is how to install Windows 11 on MacBook M1, M2, M3. So if you have a MacBook with M1 chip, so you can use this method to install Windows 11 on your Mac OS. The very important information. The first thing, this process will work with MacBook, MacBook Pro, Mac Mini with M1, M2, M3 chip. So mostly this video is created for the users, those have the Mac with M1, M2, M3 chip. The second point, we are using UDM to run Windows 11 on Mac OS and this will not support the heavy gaming which required GPU. Let me show you the Mac version I'm using. See this, I'm using Mac mini and this is Apple M2 chip and the OS is the latest one, right? Let's begin. The very first step. In the first step, we need to download a UTM software on Mac machine. Then we will install it. This is the direct download link for that. So please copy this link from the description, open the browser and paste it, press enter. Then you will see this kind of page. Now here you can see two buttons. First is Mac App Store. If you click this, this will navigate to you the Mac App Store. But this software is not free if you download from the Mac App Store. So we will proceed with this download button. So we will download it from the different source. Once you click it, you will see the downloading is in progress. I have already downloaded uh, this dmg file on my system so i will pause this uh, second downloading and i will use the same so once you finish the downloading you will see the dot dmg file in your download folder like this okay now do the double click on this to launch and you will see this kind of small window we need to drag and drop this application into the applications folder once you do it this will be copied inside the applications folder so i have already downloaded and installed it once so i'm not going to proceed for the second time so i will use the same installed utm okay closed rest of the windows now we are here on this notepad so we have seen the UTM downloading and installation. This is very clear and very simple and straightforward. Let's jump to step two. So in the step two, we need to download a Windows 11 ISO file for the installation with the help of Crystal Fetch. Let's follow my step. So on the same page, go to this link and then you will see this page on this page we have lots of iso images on different kind of uh, operating system like linux debian fedora ubuntu and windows 10 11 and 7 so we are going to proceed with the windows 11 so come at this link just click and you will see again a new window on this we have some details about the architecture and the memory required the disk space and the display and the tools which is required to set the resolution of your window when you will use in the full screen mode then the resolution will be very good and everything will be smooth right just click on the guide button and then this will open a new page here we have some details like so here we have this crystal fetch option so see this summary, this is the easiest way to obtain a Windows installer ISO with the help of Crystal Fetch on Mac OS, right? So click on this first button, download on the App Store. Once you click it, this will take you on the App Store. Here, this will ask you to download. So you will see the download button. Uh, I have already downloaded this app. That's why I'm getting this open button right this right So once you download it and the installation will be done You will see this button and just click open 
Once you click the open, you will see a new window. On this new window, we have some information like choose the version, which is Windows 11 and the architecture. We are targeting for the Apple Silicon chip. So first option is selected. Now select the rest two things, language of your choice and the addition of the Windows will be Windows 11. That's it. Simply click on this download button. And then this small pop-up window will appear. This is license terms and agreement page. Simply accept it. And then you will find the downloading will be started on your machine. And this will take some time and uh, it totally depends on your uh, network speed, right? So I have already downloaded one ISO image on my system and this is present here in this download folder. So I will proceed with this downloaded ISO image. But in your case, please complete the ISO downloading and then proceed. So I am stopping this process here. Okay, let me close the other windows. Now back to the notepad. The next step, in the step three, now we will launch the UTM app and we will install the windows. Let's do it. Very simple. Click on the go menu inside the applications. Just do the double click on this UTM icon and uh, you will see the UTM home screen will appear. When you are doing first time, so Mac OS will prompt you a message that this is not downloaded from the trusted sources. Okay, so you have to bypass this. You have to go to the system settings, then privacy and security. Here you will see a message with a button like open anyway. So simply click on open anyway and then try again and that window will appear for you. Okay, once you get this window, we can proceed. So I have already created one virtual machine, but I will show you everything from the scratch. So simply click on this plus button. Okay, on this place, click on the first option, then go with the windows. And at this page, we have to select the first, uncheck the second one, and uh, please check this. If it is unchecked on your machine, then and simply click on the browse button and now we will look for the downloaded iso so i have just selected this iso here and click open all good click continue and then this will show you like hardware selection so if you have a, a memory more than 8 gb so you can proceed you can assign 6 gb 8 gb Right now, this is taking it as a default, but you can reduce it, you can increase this. This is totally depends on you that on window, what type of software you are going to run, that depends on that. So for the demo purpose, I am simply not doing any change here, but you can change it as per your requirement. The same with the CPU core as well. So you can assign the CPU core two, three, four, five, six whatever and you can simply leave it as a default so everything is configurable here and click continue and then this will ask you for the storage how much storage you want for the windows by default this will show you the 64 gb you can decrease it or increase it as per the space availability on your mac hard drive click continue On this window, please check this box and click continue and then you will get a summary page. So please check this everything as per your expectation. If you want to change, you can simply go back on the previous screens and do some changes and come back and click save. Then finally you will get this kind of window. Here the new virtual machine is created, right? And we have to simply start this by clicking on this play button. Once you click on it, this will open a new window and you will see the UTM icon and you will find that system boot. And first time you have to click any key on the keyboard. 
and the process is started for the installation. Soon you will see the installation process and the very first window of the Windows installation. Okay, here we get it. Now proceed. So if you want, if you have any key, any license key for the Windows, the previous key, so you can simply use it. Otherwise, you can simply press, I don't have a key. Proceed. The version you want, I'm going to proceed with the Windows 11 Home. Click Next. And click Accept. Click Next. And this is the allocated space. Click Next. And wait uh, for this installation. This is a simple installation procedure as we have seen in the other laptops. I have done the installation process fast forward, because, but in your case, this will go a little bit slow. This will take five to 10 minutes. The next time when you see the boot, do not press anything, right? Let it as it is and the rest of the things, rest of the process will be take care by this UTM software. And very soon you will see some restart, like some boot messages. Do not press any key. And finally, you will see the Windows installation. And here, this will ask you for the region selection. Simply go with and click the layout, the keyboard. You can you skip this? And this will check for the updates. If you have a good internet connection, this process will be fast. And soon you will see the message, just a moment. And again, this will take a restart. And do not press any key here. And finally, we will see the welcome message from the Windows. And this will ask you to create the user, give the username into the password. Password, password confirmation, then set some security questions and the answers like this. Once you do it, this will check for the updates for next few minutes. Okay, now finally you will get a message. This might take few minutes. Installation is almost done. Soon we will see the home page, right? We got this home screen of the Windows 11. Now the next and the last thing. So simply minimize this and you will see in the back end this UTM guest tool. Okay, we need it because we want to use the Windows 11 in a full screen mode. So we need to set the resolution. So once, you ins once we install this software, this will take care about the resolution of our windows on Mac system. Okay, so proceed with the installation. Okay, once the installation is finished, click finish and uh, do a reboot. Okay, so Windows is restarting now. And this time, please don't press any key from the keyboard. It will automatically load the Windows for you. And here we are at the home page of the, at the login page of the Windows. You can maximize this way and simply log in in your Windows with the password. And now, if you want to exit from the full mode, you can simply move the cursor on the top of the screen. Then you will see the bar so you can minimize the UTM window and you can exit from the full screen easily. Now you can test it. 
you are connected with the internet or not so i'm going to launch the browser first time on this window i'm typing a website now the page is opened successfully that is connected properly remember and this will not support the heavy gaming because that needs the gpu support right so there is one restriction on this some basic gamings you can do it and you can run and install the windows related software on your windows on this right so friends this is the way you can install windows 11 on macbook m1 m2 m3 chip so i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe to support and for now thanks for watching